it's cold out there. <laughs> How are you, Rick? Javier, good to see you. Rich Silver, right uh, from uh, the Fiat Chrysler Automotive uh, Group. It's kind to hard to get used to that new name. <laughs> well, we're all taking a little bit, but that's why we say FCA. It makes it easier. FCA, yeah, okay. So we're here at the Miraval Airport uh, outside Montreal. Kind of interesting story here. Uh, this airport, I understand, was built 20 years ago. It's abandoned now. <laughs> yeah, it didn't didn't quite see as many planes as they thought. Yeah, I, 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 from what I heard, they, they built it because it was like a refueling station for some planes coming from Europe. And as planes uh, became efficient, they there was no use for it. So yeah, they they like the. I mean, it's part of all you guys, engineers, making everything efficient. We're, <laughs> well, we're making uh, we're making efficient use of it now. We yeah, like exactly. Area. So we're here uh, testing all the vehicles from the FCA group, uh, Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep and Ram with the all-wheel drive and four-wheel drive system. So Rich, well first thing, what's the difference between all-wheel drive and uh, 4x4? Well here at FCA, our four-wheel drive is uh, very sacred. So our, our Jeeps, we tune them so that the four-wheel drive behaves a certain way on-road and off-road. I don't think you can easily define it by the type of hardware, but the feel and the intent and the purpose is really So amazing. can we say that 4x4 is more for extreme driving, like off-roading, this kind of thing, uh, and all-wheel drive is more for efficient and hyper, uh, better performance? Yeah, I, I don't know if we can do a, a broad statement, but it, yeah, we can. I'm trying it, to understand like, in, in, in like more like regular terms uh, for, for the, our audience I mean, to understand exactly what, well, for, why, why for, there are two names to that. For off-road or any of our trail rated, we, you want to be in the four-wheel drive system. And then as our, our trucks and, and obviously the Wrangler, but the, the trucks are a, a four by four system as well. And a lot of the basic transfer case and when we allow a, a true uh, lockup between the front and rear axle speeds or yeah. side to side axle speeds, very common is our four-wheel drive systems. Our all-wheel drive is tuned for on-road performance though. Okay. To your point and whether it's uh, efficient and safe driving like in a, a Durango that's all-wheel drive or if we were in a 200S where we could have a more spirited drive that's an all-wheel drive system. Okay excellent. So um, we are uh, the four brands here as we mentioned and uh, so uh, what's new in the in the FCA kind of group uh, in terms of uh, this technology in te models with this new technology F FCA has been a leader in first of all in our disconnecting all-wheel drive and four-wheel drive so we've had disconnecting uh, chargers and 300s for, for several years now yeah we've recently gotten uh, achieved the different uh, disconnecting technology for front drive based cars so our Cherokee and the 200s or 200 whether it's C or S and also the new Jeep Renegade is a disconnecting uh, four-wheel drive system okay here we have some instructions from the hey guys uh, you've got the advice that the off-road is going to be open okay so it's up to you now if you want to choose between the three of us excellent three, uh, exercises. Well, Thank you. And uh, don't be shy to push it over there. Have fun. All, All right. right. Thank you. <laughs> don't be shy. I like yeah, those words. Yeah, that's uh, the fun part about these events. Uh, you can be safe, very safe in this kind of environment. So we're here going here into an eight, uh, a figure eight, loop, eight or a figure eight loop. And uh, so what's the difference with a car? Like, for example, there we're like turning and it's already sliding a little bit. I mean, because of under the snow, there's a lot of yeah, this ice, surface right? this surface is packed snow, which has turned to ice. And then today with the snowfall, we have some loose snow on top of it. So as you drive into the loose snow, you'll feel a little bit of, of push, as we say, even with a winter tire. Yeah. Because it's uh, sort of like a movable liquid on top of the, the hard ice. And what you'll feel in a, in a Wrangler is you have it in four wheel drive. This is the X model, which has a locking rear axle, but we'll, we'll keep it open for the drive right now. And you can feel that you, as you turn the wheel, you'll feel the vehicle turn in. That's mostly your chassis. As you get on the throttle, you'll feel the, the front and rear both contributing to that turn. So the four wheel drive system is giving you the power to get, get around the course. And then the, your chassis is interacting with it, but you, you aren't entering into uh, stability control yet. You're still yeah. well under control and it's moving at 
with and an that's ice. what all this new technology does to these cars right I mean even though it's very extreme conditions here and like slide and all that the computers do a lot of the work yeah yeah the, there's a little bit of supervisory going on keeping you in the direction that you want to be heading making sure the car is turning the way you want it to turn so for people who, who don't live in these uh, these places that that absolutely need uh, this let me see oh the lights again yes i didn't turn them off oh, just so you know <laughs> <laughs> so as i was saying for people who live in other areas where there's no snow like miami or like some belt states what's the advantages of having uh, these systems in the car Good to go well all-wheel drive and four-wheel drive isn't just for snow it can help if you're yeah, maybe you have sand or some dirt roads that you need to traverse or, or rain even it, rain especially uh, muddy roads potholes you know, chuck holes where you may have to go slow and you want to have traction in, in both axles or all four wheels it, it, it's it's very useful for, for many people it's just not for winter anymore and uh, one of the one of the discussions we were having recently is uh, a vehicle that may not see a dog all the time in, into yeah. the snow but people even in Southern California if they want to go up into the mountains go skiing or snowboarding they could utilize all-wheel drive and drive with confidence as they go out to, to enjoy their activities and having all-wheel drive or 4x4 doesn't uh, affect as much anymore the efficiency of the engines in terms of MPG right that's that's been our goal and at the forefront of our design and that's why we've pioneered these disconnecting technologies disconnecting on a Dodge Charger where we can have a rear drive for the person who wants that but then it will provide all-wheel drive traction or performance when necessary and then with our front drive architectures absolutely the, when it's in front drive it's the, the most efficient way to drive the car and then they're so fast that they can respond and automatically engage four-wheel drive so the computers make that decision for you, or you there's enough that you can uh, switch we, it by, oh, back and forward? We can hop into a Jeep Cherokee and go over that a little bit more if you'd like. Okay, we'll, we'll do that uh, later. Okay. So another question about uh, these uh, systems. Uh, let me see, okay, here. All the vehicles have different modes for the all-wheel drive or the 4x4 system, right? Like snow, and like, can you go through that a little bit, please? Yeah, we don't have it in the Wrangler, because our Wrangler is a oh, oh, permanent. System. Yeah, yeah permanent. You do have four high and you have four low and a, a transfer case neutral. A lot of our customers enjoy the Wrangler specifically for that. So you can use a transfer case neutral and pull it behind a recreational vehicle. So yeah. they bring it with them, they go on a, a vacation, they park the say motor home or whatever the product is. And then they have the, the Wrangler to get them around town. So it's a fun car, they can drive it. If you want to drive it on the beach or in terms of uh, cost uh, of these vehicles, is there a big difference uh, anymore in between cars that have only front wheel or wheel drive uh, systems? I think in some of the discussions from the brands today, we're, we're definitely doing our best to get that cost down so that the, the opportunity cost to get into an all-wheel drive or four-wheel drive is, is not so great that it's prohibitive. And I think yeah. we're seeing that, that distance Decrease. So the, the new Renegade, for example, the Jeep starts under twenty thousand, and it already has a four for four wheel which drive. Is, it's pretty amazing, it's, right? and that's a lot of a lot of vehicle for that. It's a good value, and the fuel economy is is not hampered as much as it, it could be because of the disconnecting technology. So you you get that in, in the Renegade. It's passive; it, it will disconnect and reconnect on its own, and we can go over that in either of those cars. And finally, what's the, the difference uh, of uh, adding these systems to a rear-wheel drive car to a front-wheel drive car? Is there any difference in terms of uh, what? The hardware is yeah. drastically significant. So in a rear drive car, we need to, behind the transmission, add a, a transfer case. Yeah. You're clear. And But in a front drive, we have to add a component called the power transfer unit that allows the front axle to still drive but takes some of that power and torque and sends it to the rear. So yeah, very different hardware and uh, very different architectures. Thanks, so. Well, Rick, thank you very much. We're gonna keep enjoying uh, driving here. I mean, the sun is coming out. Doesn't yeah. mean that it's warmer. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> well, enjoy more, your day. more, more light. Well, thank you very much for everything. Huh? Thank you very much. Bye.